Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I will be giving you some tips on how to answer subnetting questions if you have learned how to do subnetting. This will help you prepare for your exams if you are planning to take certifications like Cisco CCNA or if you have networking classes in school and you have homework or exams about it. This is just a preparation for that for you to practice your subnetting skills. So if you're interested, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started answering the subnetting problems. So before we get started answering these questions, just a disclaimer first that I will not be teaching how to subnet in this video. If you want to learn how to subnet first, please check out my other videos about it. But in this video, we are just going to focus on answering subnetting questions. And also I have prepared some questions in here and some problems in here for us to solve. And the focus of this video is subnetting class C I P address. So, so I'm not gonna be showing any class A and B in this video, only class C because it's basically the same idea. Anyway, so let's get started now. Alright, so for our first problem, subnet IP network 197.3.1.0 slash 24 to accommodate 28 hosts per subnet so for this first problem it's basically asking you to divide this ip network into smaller sub network that can accommodate at least 28 hosts per subnet and the first question is how are we gonna start solving that problem so what my professor taught us during this networking and subletting class is this first you gotta have your binary table. This is very, very important and a very good trick in answering all the subnetting questions there. So write your binary table from 1 to 128 in here and that's gonna be very, very handy to answer all the questions here below. Okay, so to test your subnetting knowledge, let's answer this first question. What class address is it? So what class address is 197.3.1.0 is it class a b or c so if you answered class c then you're correct because the range for class c is from 192.0.0.0 to 223.225.225.0 so since this is 197 network for the first octet, it falls between this range of 192, 192 to 223. So this is a class C address. Okay, so now the keyword for this problem is 28 hosts. So the problem is really asking you to divide it with 28 hosts per subnet. So this binary table down here is going to be handy for that. So the tip here is to find in this numbers in the binary table where 28 hosts could fit. So these numbers from 1 through 16 are too small to fit 28 hosts. So let's go to the next number. So can 32 here fit 28 host yes it can and it would have like extra for that because uh, if we go lower here for 16 it's not gonna fit because 28 is more than 16 and if we go more than 32 in here uh, if we choose 64 that's gonna be able to fit 28 hosts but we are gonna have a lot of extra host after that that we might be wasting because we only need 28 hosts per subnet so for this example 32 is our best pick so we can just mark the 32 here with one so the trick here is after marking the number that we chose let's mark all of the numbers to the left that is remaining in our table so just mark everything that's left in here the 128 and 64 so there we go we should just count the number of bits that we borrowed from this table so we have one two three so these are three bits borrowed okay so there goes our question in here how many borrowed bits we borrowed three bits 
was one, two, three in here, and we chose the number 32 because it fits 28 host. Okay, next question. What is the number of usable hosts per subnet? That is a very common subnetting question that you can encounter on your test or exams or certifications. So to answer this question, let us go to the chosen number here. So the magic number that we marked first in our binary table is 32. So we just take note of 32 in here. So next question is 32 the number of usable hosts per subnet? The answer is no. So after we take note of the number that we chose, we still have to subtract it with 2. So 32 minus 2 is equal to 30 host. 32 minus 2 is equal to 30 usable host and that is going to be our final answer for this. So we have 30 usable host per subnet. And you might ask me why are we subtracting 2 in here since we chose 32 as our number here from the binary table. We should always remember that in our network, we have the network address and the broadcast address reserved for every subnet that we create. So uh, these two represents the network address and the uh, broadcast address. So those are reserved address that we can never use as a usable host address. So what's left is the remaining from we subtracted from 2 which is 30 usable hosts so we can only use 30 usable hosts for this subnet because two are reserved for network and broadcast address so that's kind of a trick question if you happen to encounter this because based on the binary table we have marked this 32 or for example, if we chose 64, we still have to subtract it with 2 because 2 uh, address are reserved for the network and the broadcast. So if it's uh, asking for the number of the usable host, we always subtract it with 2 and the answer for that is the number of the usable host. So for the next question, what is the subnet mask for this? So this is asking for the new subnet mask. We know already that the subnet mask for this IP network example is 24. And 24, learning from subnetting that is equivalent to 255.255.255.0. So since we are subnetting this, dividing it to more different smaller subnetworks, the subnet mask is also going to change for this. So the trick for this is to take note of the original subnet mask in here. We have this already and then we will just add from this binary table the values of all of these three bits that we have borrowed. So the original is 255.255.255 and we should just delete this zero in here and replace it with the sum of these three uh, values here since these are all the three bits that we have borrowed. So we are going to add 128 plus 64 plus 32 and that's going to be 224. So our new subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.224 Okay, so moving on to the next question. What is the prefix for this? Prefix is just something like this backslash 24. So this is a very easy one and the trick for this is to go back to your binary table and just add the number of bits borrowed into the original prefix that was given in the problem so since we borrowed three bits in this binary table we will just add it to the original 24 in here so 24 plus 3 is 27 so it's gonna be slash 27 for this problem and last but not the least for example they were gonna ask you to complete the subnet for this or divide this network itself to accommodate 28 hosts per subnet this is our favorite we learned this from our uh, subnetting lessons so we can now be able to provide the network address the host range and the broadcast address for this so from what we learned from our subnetting lessons before we will start with the network address from the given in here 
which is 197.3.1.0 and the next one would be the increment of the bit that we have chosen in here so from what we learned from our subnetting lessons, the next octet in here will be the increment from the number we chosen from our binary table, which is 32. So this is going to be our increment. 32 is our increment in here. And let me just fix that. Okay. Next is 197.3. dot. Uh, one so we're gonna follow the same increment which is 32 so we're just gonna add 32 to this last octet so the next is gonna be 64 I know you know this already from our subnetting lessons before so the next network address would be dot 96 and the final would be 128 for example if we only want to complete like four subnets here because i don't have any more space so this is just following increments of 32 for your network and the next part will be just as easy for the broadcast address so the broadcast address is following this same three octets from the given which is 197.3.1 dot the last octet would be the number before the next network address which is going to be 31 and following that pattern the next octet the last octet for this is going to be the number before the next network address which is 63 same pattern as well and if you answered 95 here you are correct and for the last subnet in here the last octet would be 127 you are correct again if you answered that all right so another one of my favorite part in subnetting is getting the host range because it's just very simple and easy so it's just the numbers between the network address and the broadcast address so since the network address starts with zero the next uh, number should be 1.1 1 .1 until the number before 30 1 is 30 so the last host range for this network is dot 30 so that's just gonna be very simple and very easy from our subnetting class before host range for this is going to be dot 33 to dot 62 for this is dot 65 to dot 94 this one is dot 97 to dot 126 and there you have it you got the host range for this so i hope my explanation was clear because it's not that easy to explain everything but if you have already understood the subnetting lessons from before this is gonna be easy to answer all of the subnetting questions will be very simple to answer if you also know how to use the binary table so if you have any more questions please don't hesitate to leave it down in the comment section below and i apologize if i have not been clear in some of my explanation here i really tried my best and i hope this helped you in uh, answering the subnetting questions and in your exams and uh, training and certifications soon or in the future Thank you so much and I am going to be making some more of this kind of videos.